DM, how far uh, how far along the trek have we made it through the jungle? You made you made it about a cup uh, made made it a, a few hours. It's uh, this talk is uh, take it, this talk has t taken up a, a good a good bit of time as well as uh, read as well as some reading books. Uh, Y'all have been uh, pat it's like as the time has gone on, you guys have been you know passing around a couple books like uh. It's like you. It's a uh, you. You even found out that uh, Michael has uh, the Tantamile Adventure series in his pack. <gasps> Owen like uh, ditches uh, ditches ditches the tree ties and goes for um, kitten caboodle. That's what you need, it. <laughs> oh no! What? There there are four books. There are four or five books. But she means all five. Hey, um, no, no, no. One of the one of the books. Hang on, let me just let me just pull it up because. <laughs> okay, there's not. Yeah, there's a there there are fantasy adventure novels uh, featuring a fictional version of Tantamile, and there there's a couple of the books. Uh, there's a cat got your tongue. Uh, cats out of the bag. Curiosity killed the cat. Kitten caboodle and satisfaction brought her back. The very controversial sequel. Um, so what happened was they actually killed off Santa Mile, but people were demanding another book. Kitten Caboodle Kit uh, was the new character, but then everyone hated her, so they brought back Santa Mile in the last one. Oh, so basically out of character. So basically a hound of the Baskervilles, essentially. Pretty much. Okay. So so is when they introduced the new character, was it called What's the New Pussycat? Uh, no, it was Kitten Caboodle, uh, oh. because the new kid, the, because <laughs> the new character's name was Kit. <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot the messenger i made these <laughs> yeah it's not you i'm shooting josh <laughs> hey uh, josh yep did i ever send you the books that i that i made up that charlotte had read uh no i don't think you did okay i'll dm them to you thank you anyway. i Anyways. have i have one question are any of the books that either of those guys have in any other languages? Uh, some of them. Are, some of them are in Kelcat, Yes. Not what I was asking. If if that's the case, then no, she's not going to bother. All right. All right. Uh, and so, as you're kind of passing the books around, I'm going to be throwing uh, this one out at uh, y'all. Ah. Oh, this is, okay, this is the thing you sent me. Yeah. So, yes. Anywho. So... You're all, you're all passing you're all passing around these books, uh, just, uh, just re reading, talking, uh, trying not to trip, and, uh... You occasionally see uh, like a few a few monkeys leaping through a few monkeys leaping through the trees, but uh, for the most part, the animals are giving you a very uh, wide berth, especially considering the big the biggin that's uh, traveling with you. Gwen kind of pouts on the horse, wanting to see more animals. Yeah. All right. Um, Flint, I don't. Gwen is kind of fighting with herself about this, but. Flint, why don't you and Seven perhaps go up ahead? Maybe you guys can find more evidence of that creature thingy? Like, I mean, you both seem pretty good at tracking. That way, you know, Seven can get a little bit of hunting in without uh, Rena, you know, um, needing to adjust. And that way you can perhaps see more animals. Great idea! Uh, Seven immediately grabs Flint off his horse and carries him off. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> All right, uh, both of, yeah, both of you uh, roll perception. Yes, 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 yes. Hi. Um, wait, who roll perception? I completely missed all of that. Flint and Seven. Yeah. They're the they're going. The front, front, front to the front to the front to the front, front, front. They're going. Uh... <laughs> I let the kids go. I let the kids go play. <laughs> and message. Bam. All right. Good roll. That was a good. good roll. Oh yeah, you, you did good. Okay, so um, 
So you're up. So you all check. You all charge ahead, and uh, you start. You start look. You start looking around, and you do see a couple of the monkeys from before. But uh, with Seven, with her better eyesight, far, far away, she can see. Uh, she she can she can see some birds, like uh, she she can see some birds uh, making making some nests in the trees. They have like really really long beaks, and she does not know what they are. Uh, Seven immediately goes to the nearest tree that has one of these birds, and like she doesn't climb up, but she like stands on her hind legs and claws at the trunk to get a better look. Uh, yeah. So these uh. Bur so these kind of small birds with very, very long beaks, they tur turn to the ground and they just kind of, they uh, tilt their heads at the side at you, just trying to get a good look at you. Just, yeah. just kind of like twitching back and forth, just at looking at you with both eyes uh, as they move their heads. Does my does my nature roll help me identify them? Yes, you have identified them as toucans. Ah. They have pretty beaks! Uh, seven attempts to climb. Seven, seven, okay. Shh, careful, careful, careful. I want to get closer! Here, let me try something. I'm gonna, um, can I do a toucan call? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, do I have to roll again, or am I good? No, you're good. Yeah. Fruit Loops. <laughs> so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to attempt to do a toucan call and maybe call one of them down. Uh... Let me get a better look. Um, give me one. Give me one second. Uh, I need to check <laughs> because there is that actually a skill for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, make another. Okay, make another nature check. <laughs> Come on, nature, don't fail me now. Ah! Hey! Uh. Oh, there you go! <laughs> All right, fine. I mean, it's. I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it turned out better. It turned One out better. And too, too bad for you. It's the campaign's curse. Now everything's worse. Well, uh. Does that still work, though? Okay, uh. I'm checking that I'm check I'm checking the saves on this and yeah that works. Alright. Yay! Alright. All right, I'm, so. I'm gonna call him down so mean seven get a better look. So uh so you so you look you so you look around and you and you uh and you you see a uh, a little a little uh, fruit bush. Uh, quickly uh, ba grabbing some, quickly grabbing some of the book from some of those berries, which you have identified as non-lethal. Thank you, uh, Herbalism. Yes. Uh, you you start gi giving them a, you start giving them a, a little toucan call, and you start kind of wa waving the berries a little bit. Uh, and one of them that seems to be brave. One of them seems to be brave enough to come down and. Uh, just kind of just kind of floats for a little bit and uh, kind of snatches the the berry out of your fingers. Okay, so uh, you ha so yeah, the bird has the bird has flown down and it's uh, snatched the berry. It's like, is uh, Seven gonna do anything? Uh, she attempts to give chase. Uh, okay. So uh, the toucan is uh, na after after it snatches the berry, it's now squawking very loudly as uh, Seven is chasing it. <laughs> Come back here! I, I want to talk to you. Uh, he kind of pulls his conversation with Owen. Just look over at Hoshimi. Should we be stopping this? Yeah, uh, like Seven's wings are flapping. She's attempting to fly. Yeah. Um, Hoshimi actually, you see that she has her forehead leaned against Adrian's back, and she looks really bummed. You see, uh, you see Flint quickly, you see Flint and Seven quickly run past, by the way, and he's like, everything's under control! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yes, as the, so, yeah, the, 
Yeah, I'm not so, stop chasing. So, yeah, so, so, so yeah, after that, after that little, uh, so that little play session, unfortunately, uh, the toucan gets away. Flop. It's like seven. You you start you try flapping your wings, but you don't really have a lot of experience flying. You get about like you get you get about like four feet off the ground flapping, and then you just face plant. <laughs> Did I fly? Yep, a little bit, yeah. You got off the ground. Oh, come here. Right, let's get all that junk off your face. And he brushes her face off. Why do you want to talk to me? I'm half bird. Well, can... I think he just wanted a free snack. I don't think he was looking for friends. Hey, there's this. Hey, trust me. I know at least 300 different bird species. There is not a single bird in this jungle that's as cool as you. Uh, cool? Yeah. Cool. I mean, did you see how fast you were running in there? You're an, you're an awesome bird. Uh, her, her, her crest cut, perks up and her chest pops out like she's feeling, uh, what's the word? Invigorated? Invigorated? Yeah. Liberated. Or, I don't know. Yeah. Invigorated. Invigorated, yes. As... Honestly, both of them would work. Nice job, uh, Lissy. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I try. Uh, I still can't fly, though. Hey. None of you can fly. How am I going to learn how to fly if nobody teaches me? You get all your best. You get all your best skills from experience. Hmm. Maybe I got to talk to the party. We got to get you. We got to get you in the air somehow. <laughs> hey, for now, for now, you're the coolest bird I know. And as soon as we teach you how to fly, you're going to be even cooler, I promise. Okay. You're going to be cooler than cool. <laughs> so, Island does look as you look over it, Toshini, for a second, but of course he's still talking to Olden. And yeah, am I remembering correctly? Is that what happened? Alright. So yeah, Shylin just says You confessed your you confessed your feelings to Adrian and he actually seemed somewhat receptive and you panicked because of it and rejected him. Did I say he shouldn't? Yep. That would do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Thank you. Yeah. He gives a slow nod as if he's unsure about something. What? I understand. I don't think you're entirely honest with yourself about your motives. What do you mean? I understand keeping people at a distance for their own safety. But I don't think that's why you told him he should. I don't think it was him you were afraid of. I think you just don't see yourself as good enough. I'm not afraid of... I'm not afraid of... I'm not afraid of him, necessarily. And I don't think I'm good enough. I'm more afraid of what could happen to him just by being associated with me. He already has dang Mark. And he's only just like you all have just been near me for two weeks. What else will happen? I can't judge you for the second one without being a hypocrite. 
But as for the first... You're a fool. Fool or not. My job is to keep people safe. I already promised him I would guard him from Hollyhock, and I failed it! I... You think... You think you're the only one? Every single one of you is my responsibility, and I haven't been doing a good job of that myself, now have I? Every single one of you is my responsibility as well. So... Well... I think that... If you're not going to allow me to take all the blame for Hollywood getting to Adrian, then I'm not going to allow you to take all the blame for yourself. I... but I promised him specifically. Yes. And I don't care. We were both trying to keep them safe, and it didn't work out. She tries to smile a little bit. I at least call 90%. You can have the other 10. Um, okay, after seven, dust yourself up and follows Flint back to the others. Um, she's still a little happy and puffy despite the compliments and goes over to Sybil instead. She's kind of grumpled because it's like, I. she wants to hunt. She wants to have some fun and, and learn to be better for the group. And... <laughs> you seem so troubled today. You're usually much more happy. You don't seem very happy yourself. I lost something very near and dear. I wonder why you are so angry, though. I just want to be better for everybody else, and I want to learn, and, and I, want to, I want to be a better hunter so I can protect everyone and be more of use for you, and maybe I could help find your doll better, maybe I could make Flint happier, maybe um, I could be a better fighter for Shylin. I'm sorry, the squeak was cute. No, she's yeah, really puppy. She, her like, she is sitting down, plopped, really angry kitty over here. Her tail's flopping back. And forth. Oh, I, <laughs> I know, but you doing the little squeak was cute. <laughs> I'm putting on my bestest pout. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I brought you something you could hunt, that would make you happy. Well, it's not really about the hunting, it's learning how so I can be better for everybody else. I see. I imagine this might actually be a good first step for me, too, since this will be the first time I have been without. Without your friends? Oh boy. I'm just trying to find something I can focus on. Well, are, are we not your friends? Uh oh. Oh. Uh. So, uh. Okay, uh, Sybil, you have uh, animated a tiny little hand. Something I figured would be very small that could fit between nooks and crannies and pop out of places that. <laughs> I don't know, it just seemed like an idea that would give Seven something to chase after and actually improve her reflex. 
mixes with. I actually, I love this. Yeah, oh. her eyes actually dilate at the sight. Ugh. So, yeah, so... All right, so the uh, hand turns towards uh, Sybil as if it is uh, looking for, as if it is uh, wishing for a command. Stay in one piece. Yeah, summon the summon the uh, the little hand. Uh, the hand uh, consider Sybil's words for a little bit. Uh, I imagine I, the the moment Seven tries to pounce at it, its command of stay in one piece will require it to not get caught. Yeah. Yep. Well. Okay, Seven stands up and is getting ready to make chase, but she looks back to Sybil and smiles down and, and says, Thank you. I'll... I owe you one. I... I promise that I'll do whatever I can to help you feel happy again. And then she takes off after the hat. Come here, uh, you little yeah. thing! Alright, and so the, uh, the little hand is, uh, booking it. <laughs> Um, how, okay, so I gotta check, I gotta check. I wonder thing. if I have to do the uh, athletic checks. <laughs> so well, uh, this hand could fit into places that Seven can't reach and yeah. go through things and around things and suddenly double yeah. back much quicker than Seven can. Also, it's, a, also, it's, a its speed is higher than Seven's. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Get it, <laughs> So it is um, literally a cat with a laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh, the, so like some very dilated eyes from Seven, and the hunt is on as the rest of the hours uh, are spent with Seven just chasing around this little hand and almost getting uh, up, but the hand dodges out of the way at the last. Uh, does one at the last second. It's like getting at the cr and then it's suddenly it just dives into a hole and uh, you know it just uh, she starts like digging around, just like ch just really trying to get it. I'm All gonna right. get you. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. All right. Ya. So we are going to make contested checks. I need you to. Uh, so. Uh, how do you want to try and capture the hand? It has been it has been able to elude you for so long. You're gonna have to do something special. How are you gonna try and do it? Uh, I'm gonna try a stealth and with a deception because I'm gonna try and see if I can't climb the trees and pounce on it. All right, I'm gonna have to ask you to roll a stealth check versus this thing's. Perception. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. I don't even have a high roll on this. Come on. Please. I don't have any roll on this. Oh, okay. That's okay. You're going to that's charge. Okay. I'm going to switch back to them. Woo, that's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, this thing has that. This thing has no. Pre oh, wait. That was a. That had a plus five modifier, so that's a nine. Okay. Still. No. It. All right, still seven. You are seven. You're uh, you're the lion in the jungle. It's like very, very, very deftly. It's uh, you you as you're chasing this thing, you just kind of stop for a second, just kind of realizing, you know what, this isn't working. I gotta try something else. <laughs> and you look in the general direction that it went, and you just begin to like, you just kind of huddle down. And you start. So you just start slowly skittering, being very careful not to step on any twigs, and just sit, just sitting there on a log, is is just the is just the claw, and it appears to be just kind of looking around, like te like, and kind of scratching against the scratching against the log as if it's trying to find you, and just closer, closer, closer. And pounce! <laughs> it's like you, you with what with with two claws, you you just kind of you just kind of smash your claws against it, and it's like its fingers are just like fl flitting around underneath your claws. What's going on? A pouncy lesson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Pouncing. <laughs> Pouncing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, okay. All right. So did I you squish have it, or work? did I squish it, or what happened? <laughs> uh, you didn't ca you didn't kill it, but you caught it. It's just okay. like you're a dog that's caught the truck. It's like okay, what do I do now? <laughs> now what do I do? It's like uh, uh. okay. She 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 picks up by the her, uh, her big I guess by one of the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> she kind so, of shakes, yes. shakes uh, it's around and a, So yeah, it's a, just as a, just kind of just kind of dangling its little fingers, kind of swinging back and forth. You're able to you're able to keep hold of it as you just kind of trot up, all proud up to trot proud up to Sybil. And that this thing's still struggling, kind of <laughs> kind of like a giant spider. Uh. All right, so. Uh, so, so, Sybil, you see that, uh, <laughs> you see that the crawling hand has been, uh, captured by Seven. I imagine that you'd probably want to let it go if you wish to continue using up your energy. Or you can give it back if you're done for today. Realizing that she can keep going?! Uh, seven tosses it up in the air. All right, and now now it's cut. Now it's cut. Now it starts cut. It starts skittering up the trees. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Roll so, athletics. Yeah, the pace is on. Sorry, I'll be taking the rest of that ninety. No. Owen, you're not gonna beat me on this. I'm very stubborn. I hadn't noticed. You're both idiots. Hmm. Not <sighs> something I'm going to not something I'm going to dispute. Listen, I just, but... if either of you are arrogant enough to think that you can protect anyone from everything at every moment, always, then you're. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're more conceited than I am. It's not arrogance, Hoshimi. Either I, either I can't, which means A, I will, and if I am never able to... And exactly what is the point of me? <sighs> Why am I even bothering? What am I doing? I... can't... <sighs> if my statements are false, I'll break the universe until they become truth. I... I... I don't think I can protect everyone from everything. So why are you acting like you should be able to? It's just the people that I care about because they're closest. I know I can't protect someone who lives on with the fire elves or who lives in Gloria or something like that. I'm not I'm not omniscient. I'm not Regathiel or anyone like that. But if I can't keep the ones that I care about safe, then Hoshimi looks over at Olwen. There was someone I quite recently failed to protect. But I'm not wasting my time tearing myself apart about it. Learn from the experience and improve, rather than trying to assign blame on, Oh, it's all my fault, it's all my fault. Who cares? If you messed up, get better. Olin actually looks a little perturbed, as in like a little miffed. Um, I know what perturbed angry. means. And, uh, I I meant uh, sometimes it comes across as bothered, but actually I meant mad, and so mm. I I had to amend. Mm -hmm. Even Shylin looks a little annoyed. I'm sorry. Are you presuming that we're not trying to get better? That's the whole point. I that presume matter... that I presume that the two of you are wasting your energy fruitlessly on this conversation that's just going in circles. 
You're wasting your time arguing about which one of you gets the bigger slice of the blame pie. Actually, I was trying to joke, Hoshimi! And actually, Hoshimi, I was trying to make sure that she was... I was trying to make sure that someone wasn't taking a burden upon themselves that they didn't need to. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Any Just... other insight you'd like to uselessly add? Okay, that's enough. I still think you're both idiots. And she just turn, she just turns around. But if you guys are listening, none of her words have their usual bite. Uh, none as in like none in that sentence, or none as in even the previous sentences. Even I mean, the previous that's... sentences. That was me know. trying to. Th that was me trying to keep in Hoshimi's tone, and I have a hard time with it sometimes. Okay. I just. I. She turns back to Shylan. Just because you want something doesn't mean you should have it. A kid wants a cookie, doesn't mean they should have it. Hollyhock wants to murder people, doesn't mean he should have that. Just because you want Owen? something doesn't mean you should have it. Yes. There's a difference between shouldn't and can't. And I think you're confusing the two right now. Whether I can because... or not is irrelevant. I shouldn't, and therefore I won't. <laughs> and I won't even try. Do you want it? It's so easy for this... me to... It's so easy for me to want it. And I'd be lying if I would say that I never did. And never will. Then I say... Then I say, go for it, and let me worry about the how and the can, can or can't. I can't do that. Like I said, I'll worry about the can and can't. No, I can't. I, I can't turn off the instinct I can't... I can't not want to protect people. Shylan honestly looks conflicted. I... She looks around to see if anyone's listening. Uh, Adrian's a bit ca caught in conversation with um, uh, with Michael. Yeah, and Flint is still up front, so he doesn't hear anything. And Summit's still scampering in the trees trying to catch a dead hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the cutest thing ever, and I can't wait for the fan art. <laughs> you sure you're not after a wall master? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I understood that reference, and I love it. <laughs> and Zelda! I love Super Mario. Oh! <laughs> oh well played. Got back. <laughs> well played. You have learned well, my apprentice. <laughs> I'm still not going to say it. Honestly, I don't quite get the reference because I don't usually play EA games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and play it either. It's okay. Um. Well, like all the other games that he, well, like all the other developers that EA sponsored. Anyways. Right. Anyway, but, um, so. I'm not done. Oh, yep, go ahead. It would be so easy for me. I. It would be easy for me to. If I would allow myself, something like that would be easy to care for someone that much. But I 
can't allow myself that. And so, I just want to make sure everyone I love is happy. And she rides forward. Something about what she said it doesn't sit right with Shylan. But he doesn't say anything either. We're done destroying your soul. <laughs> Alright. So, if that is the case, then... I have something to show all of you. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Big as you, dots. As you break into a clearing, you see... <laughs> uh, you see a uh, sort of sort of not a very well-developed uh, settlement, but you do see a lot of houses, and you do see... what you, you do see that they've made use of the water, and it seems to be much like an expanded trading post. More, more than an actual, more, more than an actual town, but there's a, there's enough there. there. There's enough there that people can make a fair, a fairly comfortable living. Okay. All right. Uh, Michael looks over and says, hmm. "To be honest, I wasn't expecting to grab a, uh, to grab this big of a place. It's a normally." this big of a party to this big of a place, so, uh, hmm. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure we're going to be able to get the, to get some good rooms here. Hmm. We might have to, oh, unfortunately, we might have to share some rooms. Possibly. Haven't we uh, been doing that anyways? Well, except for the Silver Star. She's not wrong. Uh, Seva puts the dead head next to, uh, Shylan's feet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were gonna go hunting, though, as soon as Nightfall came! We can get... Like I said, Hoshimi's probably the best to help with that, and we can get rooms then. Talk about that. Yeah, that way we can we can set up, set up the nests, and that way they'll be nice and comfortable and ready for you when you get back. Okay. Almost. Almost, almost. Okay? Okay. Uh, she releases the hand again, and off she goes. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Caius is, uh, he, he's looking down. Hey, uh, my stomach's been growling. Uh, can we probably maybe go to the tavern and get some, get some chow? Probably would be the best place to find rooms, too, to be honest. <sighs> Um, True. They, maybe they might know of a place that would have some, uh, you know, higher up rooms, you know, or some more natural rooms, you know, not just, you know, stuffy old tavern rooms. She looked over at Hoshimi, mm -hmm. trying to be, you know, accommodating. Mm hmm. All right, well, there's a. Uh, let's see if there's a signpost over here. Yep, tavern's, tavern's this way. All right. Oh, everyone head into the tavern? Who dying? Hey. Yep. Head sure. into the tavern. Seb's too busy chasing the hand. <laughs> no, we're not gonna say it. Alright. So, uh, it's gotten pretty dark, uh, but luckily there are a couple torches uh, lighting your way through. A couple torches lighting your way through. I sent you a PM, Josh. Yep. Alright. Sure. Uh. All right, and uh, 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 Alwyn, as you're uh, as you're approaching the uh, as you're approaching the tavern, you hear a little bit of a a clamoring, and <laughs> and uh, uh -oh. yeah, the doors the doors open, and 
This uh, black cat folk is sh is like tossed out, and he just lands with it in a in a crumpled heap. And he says, "For the last time, we don't have any more alcohol." And then he just shuts the door. Uh... Uh, so the so the cat folk just kind of just kind of stands up, and brushes himself off. Uh, looks at looks at all of you, and then just hey, and then just starts into the jungle. Uh, uh, hey, I guess he's fine then. Oh my, that's wait a yeah, minute. He's, uh, yeah, he darts off into the jungle really, really fast. Wait a minute, a tavern the, the tavern doesn't have alcohol anymore. Interesting. Okay, well um. Uh, let's just go ahead, I guess. Um, should I just find, try and find some rooms, or is everyone else hungry? I could use some grub. Mildly hungry, but not starving. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you knock up you knock up. So yeah, it's a uh, he sees it. So I thought I just oh oh I am so so I am so so sorry. Do you always do that when you have a new visitor? Oh no! Shame, he's not, yeah, no! Oh, there's more of you. Ah, adventurers, come in, come in, yeah, come, come in. You must be overworked. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, adventurers! Welcome, welcome to, uh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, my, apologies. My name is uh, Hall Pollywood, and welcome to the Merry Berry Tavern. I like that name. He oh. just, Charlotte just looks over at Caius. Well, if it's adventurous, he's looking for. You are part of the. You are part of the Queen's Guard. He steps forward and was like, always like a bowing gesture. The floor is yours, my brother. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, well. I've gone on my share of adventures, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think these two these two have done much. That the I don't think this group has really done all that much. Says the Maybe Olwen. not together, but on our own, we've done quite a lot. Olwyn looks like, she, like there's a brief moment of, B, you did not, in her eyes, but she just kind of shakes it off. Yeah. And so the so uh, Hall he says, oh, oh, newbies, eh? It's fine. We got a few in here that are underproved. So, what is on the menu tonight, Mr. Pollywood? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any more uh, alcohol. I've already given, given much of my supply to the Feast of Fortune over in New Gatlas. Oh, that's coming up? Uh, yes, I believe that's uh, tomorrow. <gasps> oh, I can't wait! Yeah, it's a, and well, it's not just one day. It's a, you know, it's multiple days. I know, but I'm just, I, the first day festivities are sometimes uh, the most fun, you know, because everybody's, you know, kind of a little hungover and tired by the last few. Oh, huh. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so anyways, uh, no alcohol, <laughs> but I uh, do have a few, I do have some, uh, I, I do have uh, some uh, specialty breads that I just finished baking. Do you have oh. any tea? Uh, of course I, of course I do. Let me help you. So, so sorry, you sorry. Have, you go first. Do you have any green tea? Green tea. Uh. Um, white tea. Hmm. Never mind. Just give me what, whatever you have. All right. He hands it. He hands you. Uh, he hands you some. He he pour, he. Uh, Pulls out a kettle and starts uh, pour, pouring you some tea. It's a bit. It's basically kind of like chai tea. Mm-hmm. It's a. It's very very sweet. Okay. Um, Hoshimi take no, takes a sip of the tea and she kind of makes a face at how sweet it is. Hmm. Uh, so what was I gonna say? So Flint, Flint Flint actually walks in the door and he's like, "So this is where adventurers reside." And then he quickly goes out the door. Seven, come in if you want munchies. I wonder what kind of waters they got on tap. 
Oh, uh, watch the, uh, as uh, as more people pile in. It's like, oh, uh, watch the wet floor. Uh, no one wants to fall and get the soggy bottom. Ah, <laughs> huh? everybody go in. Oh, how many should I put that down for? Seven twenty hand zero. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she just she still she picks up the hand again in her mouth and she's just <laughs> that's so cute. Okay, what if the hand have dissipated by now? Uh, he's been casting it several times. Ah, uh. <laughs> you know maybe I, I should give like... this. You know maybe I should give this hand a white flank to wave. I kind of <laughs> like it. It's almost like chasing a friend. <laughs> that's. Uh, on the in, in the on the inside, Owen is a little disturbed. On the outside, Owen's trying her best to smile. That's nice. I'm glad you had fun. Oh, she's she's still outside. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Still I, outside. I thought everybody. I'm just so used to everybody just like not being in the tavern, even though I'm in there. So never mind. I apologize. <laughs> Forget I said anything. It's okay. Um. Yeah. Seven's oh, sorry. entirely going into the tavern now. Also, I know that, you know, my token isn't at the tavern, but Shyland, oh, I moved it, I moved of, it. Oh, thank you. Shyland, instead of avoiding the wet floor, he's basically just going to slide along the red floor as if he's on roller skates. <laughs> alright, so he's got, uh, alright, so do you want to roll an acrobatics check for me? I would if my thing wasn't taking a year and a half to load. I'll roll it for you, yeah. And meanwhile, Seven releases the hand. You are free! Oh, 19. boy! Hey. Natural 19. Ooh. Natural 19. And he's an expert in acrobatics, so... Yeah, he's just... Like, you don't even see him push up. He's just, like, straight-legged sliding across the room to where he needs to go. Yeah, so... Yeah, you're just... You're just you're, you're just sliding up. You're you're kind of just sliding on the floor, and you realize that yeah, you got some real, you got some fairly decent traction here, fairly decent balance. These floors are are really good, and then you start getting a into it a little bit. You know, you start start doing some some circle glides and moonwalks. <laughs> hey, look at that dinner and a show. <laughs> I want to try that. Uh, roll in acrobatics. <laughs> we'll take penalties. I am partially kind of hoping I fail, but uh, well, d technically she is going to get a, a little bit of a of a boost because she's technically because she's like, can I do that? So technically, that would be following the expert, which is a thing. Sorry, oh, but I think, okay. you know, <laughs> got different feet types. Okay. Uh, well, she did get she did get a little bit of a boost considering you're an expert. Uh, so yeah, you start. So Shylan, you begin to slow down how how you're doing your circle glides and moon and moonwalks, and you're just kind of slowly gesturing to just how you're 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 doing it, and you're drawing special attention to just like how your how your feet are moving. And so Seven, looking at that, she's kind of mimicking it, and she starts out a little sloppy at first, but then after like the second or third try. She's doing an all fours moonwalk. <laughs> I had a, I thought of the come into my brain and it is either one of the best or one of the worst thoughts I have ever had. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, an impromptu dance off between Shylan and Seven. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm going for a slapstick comedy moment here. I actually hope this fails. Yes. Yay! Oh. Yay! Yay! You my friend. So, uh, Flint takes one step and falls right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> he sees the graceful movement that he's like, Ep! Okay. Uh, step. Uh, yeah, step. Oh, God. So, Charlotte and Stabber are having their, like, impromptu dance, and suddenly, like, the music stops. It all goes dark. Spotlight on Flint. Fog and everything. He steps forward to enter the dance battle. A new challenger has flat on his face. <laughs> <laughs> what? A uh, uh, seven skids over to his side. You, you okay? Oh, he fell face first, so he's like, 
Dann ist mein Wagen denn gut fertig? Ja. basically like backsides towards him. He's fine. And just leans down and picks him up. Thumbs up. I don't feel too bad. I landed flat on my face when I tried to fly. Oh, now we got something in common. <laughs> um, Zoo Olin... is uh, Zoo is just uh, showing off. She's actually skating really well. <laughs> Unfortunately, my Olin... face is a bit too pretty for the ground. Um, Olin waves over to Hall. Uh, yes. Can I get you anything? Um. Well. uh... I know there's no alcohol on the menu, but what else is there? Well, as I said before, I got some uh, specialty breads. Uh, got, got, uh, uh... Would you like to try any of those? Oh, definitely. Uh, but, uh, I think, um, she points over at seven. A few of us would probably like, uh, some more meaty suggestions. Hmm. All right, uh, I got some, I got some meat pies. That would be good. Anything raw in the meat category? Mm, I could. It could not be raw. Uh, it could not be cooked. I. I could just. Yes, I do have some uncooked meats. Okay. Uh, then I think that uh, we'll take oh, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, seven, X number of meat pies and one. Pile of uncooked meat. I uh, just. Right. Have any vegan options? We got. Pu it's like you're, <laughs> you're in a half elven, half dwarven town. There are there are non meat options. Thank you. So, Island is about to like offer to pay, but then looks at the amount of money he actually has at on on him at this point, <laughs> and he sighs and shakes his head. Uncle Whisper would be spinning in his grave. People don't, People don't run out of money. Uh, um, um. <laughs> oh no, I have to sit now. I have to put that in here now. Uh, yes, uh, you do. Adrian speaks up. Um, could you, uh, uh, for the meat pies, could you uh, not have, uh, add uh, onions to mine? Uh, sure. Not a fan of onions. Nah, it, it, honestly, I, I've had meat pies before. Uh, it, it, the onion's a little too strong on my, for my part. Um, also, do you have any... Is this also an inn, or is this just an eating-slash-drinking establishment? Uh, this is purely an eating-slash-drinking establishment. If you're looking for some places to, uh, maybe rest your heads at the t uh, maybe rest your heads at an inn, I'm afraid you're a little out of luck. A lot of the places are already booked. However, uh, he kind of, he kind of glances out the window. I do see you got some horses out there. Uh, you could, uh, you could very easily, uh, there, there are some, uh, ruins. We are not killing the horses and making their hides into a tent. I was not suggesting that. Oh, never mind then. I can see that you got some s supplies on you already. Perhaps you could, uh, there's some ruins over there. Uh, they're not, not great for, uh, not, they don't really have doors, but uh, if it rains o overnight, you'll be able to, uh, it'll protect you from that. Also, uh, but if that's the case, I'd recommend turning the entrances of your tents towards the entrances of the ruins. You know, just like, always be prepared. I mean, shelter is shelter. That'll have to do. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're uh welcome. And but this, uh, you see that there, you see this dwarf right here. Just, just say, just say, you're really gonna let, you're really gonna let them go out there at night. <sighs> get out. Just you get mean, out. You yeah. mean the uh, monster thingy, the Dahlia Dell? Yeah, he just yeah, the kind of walks out. And, yeah, it's like you see Hall roll his eyes. Ugh. <sighs> that guy right there, he's it. He's, he's the one who posted the bounty for that. Oh, that was... Yeah, he's... He is... Uh... Honestly, I think the guy's just crazy. It's like, yeah, sure, there are... Yeah, some, sure, sometimes people go missing on, on the roads, but usually that's just because a wild animal got them. Oh? Wait, he knows where the monster is? I want to go hunting for the monster! 
here. Wait, hang on, hang on a second, Seven. <laughs> Do you believe any of his stories? No. Probably just got. I probably just got rants again. He probably just got rants like by a wild animal. Like I wouldn't be surprised if a. I wouldn't be surprised if a bear came out here based on the descriptions. Do you have any more accurate descriptions than what was shown on the poster? <sighs> Not Gentlemen, really. ladies, once again, I think I need to bring up the idea that even if this is an actual thing, unless it is an immediate concern like the Wraith was, we might still need to prioritize. <laughs> okay, the speech bubble all day. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Olwen's trying to sneak behind the bar to see if she can find the raw meat because she sees Seven nomming the table. <laughs> you're able to sneak behind and walk forward and you're able to grab the grab the meat for Seven. Uh, the barkeep has uh, head ba headed back, and he's uh, working on preparing all the food and drinks for you. Here you go, Seven. I saw you were hungry. Corey, get off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon looks over at Owen. Who's Corey? Ha ha ha, funny. Uh, Seven lo looks at the food, looks at Owen, looks at the food, looks at Owen, and... <laughs> Ugh. All right. Uh, Flint scoots as, over just a little bit because he doesn't like the smell. Yeah. All right. As the barkeep is uh, preparing uh, f as preparing food, he looks at Hoshimi. It's like, you sure you don't want something stronger? You can probably use it. You said you were out of alcohol. Hmm. Well, official. Well, officially, it's uh, he 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 pull, he opens his uh, he opens his coat and you see, you see like a little jug, not on the menu. It. How much? Oh no, it's but no, no, it's free. It's like there's want and there's need, and you look like you have a need. A mighty one, you might say. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hoshimi actually gives the guy a half smile. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. He 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 pours it. He pours a small. He pours into a very uh, tiny tiny little mug and uh, hands it to you. She throws it back in one hit. <laughs> Usually adventurers <laughs> start asking about local rumors and stuff. What kind of adventurers are you? <laughs> well, I mean, we did ask about local rumors. He said, pointing to where the uh, the dwarf from before had run off to. Oh no, usually they, like, directly ask about rumors. Uh, Kai looks up and says, "Yeah, that's yeah, that's usually kind of the etiquette, but since I'm not with my group, he starts scratching the back of his head." Sorry, Quint well, actually and... spent. Foot... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And a, we're kind of not adventurers. B, we're actually on our way to a mission already. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Uh, Actually, sir, um, by any chance did... I'm going to see if I can give the best description I can think of. Gosh dang it, dog. Mm -hmm. um, has a person come by here... Um, I'll try to give the best description. He's um, short, portly, uh, more than likely looks like he would uh, play... Uh, play his best hand as a, a seven and a two in poker. He he start he starts scr he starts scratching his beard. Hmm. Yeah, so do, I do seem to recall that that guy. It uh came in about uh two days ago. Get yeah, drank up drank a lot and just ran. Alcohol or water? Yeah, just drank a lot of alcohol and ran. Uh, I'd have kept him from going into the jungle, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. 
He's either dead or it's a miracle he got through. Usually it's unwise to travel alone. Yeah, Take this. Yeah, I figured. Um... I did catch that reference, Finn. That was me who said that. Shay, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I... I had for you. Yeah, he really... Yeah, he's actually our... He, well, he's my, well, and technically our, person of interest. Hmm. Well, he went to he went towards New Gatlas. If you're if you're looking for that, if you're looking in that direction. All right. Well, if you're also, he, he starts he starts uh, he starts handing out food for everyone. All right. If you're looking for the the runes are uh. A bit are uh, a bit of uh, that ways. So, uh, just walk for about uh, walk for about five minutes. They're nestled against some trees. Uh, unless there's anything else you need from me. Just double checking, make sure. We, uh, just make sure we have everything in regards to like the adventure stuff. Winter decides to be a good sport and complete the experience, so he puts on a different voice. Legend has it there's some weird rumors going around here. What can you tell me about that? <sighs> <laughs> well, I've already told you about uh, the Deliadel. I think that's a I think that's a really stupid name, but uh... <laughs> well, if you if you if you run if you run into the little boogeyman over there, uh, just let me know. <laughs> Say that um. That cack folk is was is he a normal customer? Is he like a uh, a regular? <sighs> yes, he drinks a lot of alcohol. For the reason I can't give anymore. I see. Uh, has he had any issues with the other uh, gentleman, the the person who put the the, the wanted poster out? Uh, no, not right. Uh, well, sort of. It's, uh, whenever he, it's, uh, whenever that catfolk goes out there, he's always fine. And that's kind of, it, it doesn't lend a lot of credibility to, that doesn't lend a, a lot of credibility to Mr. Holmwood, so. Hmm. Could be just, it could, could just be your, uh, Regular in a drunken stupor. Possibly. Hmm. As, as much as I'd like to check it out, I would. Uh, we really do have uh, other things to be focused on. But um, thank you for. Uh, but thank you for the meal, sir. Uh, once oh. it's ready. All right. All right. So he has passed out the fi the final bits of the meals. Uh, you all have a. Uh... It's just a just a, a lot of very very well done bread, a lot of very uh, a very very juicy meat pies with a that don't have a soggy bottom, and <laughs> you all and you all head out to the uh, you all head out to the old ruins, and I think this is where we're gonna take our first our, we're gonna take our break.